Okay, exponent properties, how we're starting, chapter 7. In case you don't know what an exponent means, a to the fifth is a times a times a times a times a. a squared, a times a. So when we are multiplying a to the fifth times a squared, all together that gives you 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 a's, so a to the seventh. And what is that property called? When you are multiplying, how can you get that without writing them out? You simply add the 5 and the 2 together. So a to the x times a to the y is a to the x plus y. Okay, so no, you don't need to write them out every time. You're just adding. Okay, this is when you're multiplying. So x to the 3rd times x times x to the 5th. 3 plus 1 plus 5 is x to the ninth. All right, next, 2x times 4x to the 3rd. 2 times 4, you actually do that out, that's 8. Any coefficients do not follow the exponent rules, okay? Coefficients, you do what it's telling you to. So 2 times 4 is 8. x times x to the 3rd, 1 plus 3 is x to the 4th. The next one, x to the 4th times x squared, 4 plus 2 is x to the 6th. And then y times y to the 5th, 1 plus 5 is y to the 6. All right, and finally, 3 is coefficient. Nothing else to multiply with that, so it stays a 3. And then it would be a, 1 plus 5 plus 2 is a to the 8th. Okay, go ahead and pause here. Do the u tries below. I am going to bring us down to the next slide. Okay, here we go. Now if we have something that looks like x squared to the third power. All right, here, x squared to the third is x squared times x squared times x squared. 2 plus 2 plus 2 is x to the sixth. How do we get that without writing it out? Yeah, we multiply. All right, so our rule, x to the a to the b power, x to the a b power, a times b. Okay, so example is x to the 6th to the 4th, 6 times 4 is x to the 24th. The next one, you need to do the exponents first, okay, so x to the 3rd to the 4th, 3 times 4 is x to the 12th, times x squared to the 5th, 2 times 5 is x to the 10th, and now you can use the previous rule. When you're multiplying, you add, you get x to the 22nd, right? 12 plus 10 is 22. All right, the next, uh, you go ahead and try the U-tries, and I'm going to bring us down to the next slide. All right, this one, power of a product rule property. I don't know, says a little of both power of a product property, and then the rule is, okay, so when we have power of a property, basically this a times b to the third really means ab times ab times ab, which means a times a times a is a to the third, b times b times b is b to the third. So what can we really do? This three goes to each one. It's kind of like distributing that exponent into each one when you're multiplying in there. It's power of a product. So a times b to the n, a to the n times b to the n. And there's the bell. Hang on, let me do the examples. 3x to the 4th squared. I'm going to do 3 squared, and I'm going to do x to the 4th squared. Th okay, so 3 squared is 9, 3 times 3. x to the 4th squared, 4 times 2, x to the 8th. Okay, and finally, the last example, that third power is going to go to each one in there, 4 to the third, a squared to the third, and b to the third. 4 to the third, 4 times 4 times 4 is 64. a squared to the third, 2 times 3 is a to the sixth, and then you have b to the third. And that's it. So now you can go ahead and do those U tries, and we'll see you next class.